Hi, welcome to my system here. I've just um, installed VMware on my uh, newest Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon. Yes, this is Linux Mint, guys. It's another, uh, well, desktop tiling manager. It's something different. Works with a lot of shortcuts. I have 10 workspaces. Normally I have two monitors. So now my 10 workspaces are just on one. Otherwise we have five to the left, five to the right. And what is this movie about, this tutorial about? Well, we had, um, we installed, we made a tutorial about Antergos and VirtualBox. We installed it, the i3WM on Antergos in VirtualBox. But there were issues and, uh, on the forums. We could read that uh, i3WM was not supported or not was not on a high priority list. And I wondered now, how about VMware Player? Is uh, VMware Player supporting uh, i3WM on, on Tegos, on Linux Mint, on i3? So that's what uh, this thing is about. We just installed on the latest kernel, as you can see, we've installed VMware Player that's working. It's on number five here, the workspace. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna install Antergos and work with scripts on a line on GitHub from Eric Dubois and we have a quick install. So I'm gonna do it from scratch. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the, the movie before this is installing this thing here on the latest car. But maybe if you don't have the latest car, you don't have that issue. So starting this here is just VM player. On top you see my menu, Windows D. And um, you might, might be also a good idea to quickly get my screen key so you know what I'm, I'm, uh, what keyboards I am pressing. Voila! I have installed screen key. That's um, under here. Show keys. So every time I change something here, I press something here. It's quite important if you want to run also something about i3. Okay, um, we have here this system create a new virtual machine, but I don't have an ISO yet. So I'm gonna go to my uh, to my uh, browser and say Antergos ISO download, will be probably good. And as you can see, you can see what I type and I did a typo, but no problem. Google knows what I want. I've been here too often already. So I'm gonna do it with the torrent, which will be probably faster. Transmission, you agree, I say, okay, open me this. Let's not waste time. There we go, everything downloaded. Let's remove this. Was close call. Quit. And it's now on eight, on eight, my, there is my Nemo. And we have a Antergos. And on this we can delete, this we can't delete because that's this program. I want to keep it there just for the movie. Then we have downloaded an ISO. We're going to create a new virtual machine. We're going to say to use an ISO, which is downloaded, which is here. Okay. Could not detect, blah, blah, blah. And next, I know what it is. It's Linux and it's 64 bits. Next. I'm going to call what it will be. It will be Antegos i3. Get away. Well, next. The maximum size in disk. I give him 30. Next. Customize hardware. The memory. The memory, I have 8 gigabytes. I'm going to give him 4000. The half of it. I have eight processors, I'm gonna give four to it and one for the Linux Mint. And that's it. Finish, close, and we're off. So remember the reason why I'm doing this. I just want to know if the resolution is better, any better than VirtualBox if you do if you install the WM i3 of i3 WM. Tiling manager. Okay, let's spare some time. 
and we're off we don't want it right we want to install it we're going for English and we want English from United Kingdom doesn't really matter United States doesn't really matter he knows I'm in Brussels but he doesn't know my keyboards let's help him with that I definitely want my Azerti and now we have one two three four five six choices so it's incredible just one CD and out of the box you get six desktop environments don't have to figure anything out just click and you have it but I'm wanna figure stuff stuff out so I wanna have a base installation and then install i3 on it don't need an uh, Apache or any of the likes so I'm just gonna take these two Oh, sorry, no, two, three, four, I know, these four. And next one, yes, I know. We're gonna erase everything with a VMware machine. What do we care? No danger. My name is Eric, welcome. And this is Antergos i3. The three is not active yet, numlock. i3. This is my, oops my name my password and the password is too short and now we are again pausing the movie and Antergos installer by the by the name of cnchi is finished so we're gonna restall re, uh, re reboot And sip from my coffee. And there we are in no man's land. So you log in. That's it. Then you should get everything from the net. So there is no desktop environment yet available. So I want to install things something like this. That's what I want to install. I3 on here. Okay. What you do is git clone of uh, git is already installed. So we can do a git clone. And where do you get the information? Where do you get the scripts from me? Where are they? GitHub.com. And what's my name? Eric Dubois. What are we doing? We are working about of making an Tergos I three enter enable now the three is again the number clock is not on and now it's on oops uh, again let's do it like so unable to access blah 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 um, what did I miss could not resolve ah could not resolve so you're gonna ping to no pinging here so you do sudo system control. So VirtualBox found the Ethernet immediately, and here it's not. Interesting. Okay. So enable. What should we enable? We should enable the. Let's see if the network thing is there. No. DHCP. Yeah, that's available. Service. I'm gonna enable this. So create the symlink, fine. It's enabled, that means it's not started. So I'm gonna start it now. And now let's ping again. Arrow up. Ping telnet.pe not found. Start, that's okay. Let's ask the IP address. It is a strange address, but then we are on VMware. So, okay. This won't probably work. Oh, yeah, it does. It is working and it's supplying us the same information. Ping, let's try again. 
No. Let's see if my host machine is working. I, I suppose so. So this is working. Oh, there we go. All right, fine. Everything is set. Yeah, sometimes things go wrong, even when you make movies, tutorials, videos. Where is it? Where is my git clone? Here it is. So git clone, hit HTTP, enter. So we're having internet connection now. That's the first thing to do. If you're stuck, you go to the wiki of Arch Linux. Ontarios and Arch, they're not the same, but they can. you can use the wiki to understand everything. They are similar and they work on the same Arch programs, applications, software. Now we have something on our machine. We have a folder on Tegros i3. We're gonna move it. We're gonna move this thing to the home directory in a special, no, in a special hidden folder. And we're gonna make i3 in dot config. So that's created. We've created the directory and we're gonna move there as well. So cd, everything has been moved to that location and we are gonna move with it and let's move straight away into the installation folder. So these are the things we want to run, all the scripts, not so many and this doesn't show the first one we have to run so we have to know some other stuff ls minus al is a nice one and aux is a nice one even now oh yeah you see it already so you have to start with the 10 0 10 0 20 0 30 0 40 0 50 but even if you have problems you can do a piping which is this like so and then you can press spacebar and the Q to stop it. So we're back at the prompt and now we're gonna run some scripts. It's going to install the fastest Antergos mirrors there are, so we're going to do a test and I'm gonna ping it and see if uh, who's the, the fastest around there and I'm gonna make a list. And you see I've put a text be patient so you might think your machine is broken it's not then the two um, I have I have two th lines I have a line for me for Belgium I am living in Belgium so I've made an, an, a line in there to check for all the servers here uh, Netherlands UK France Germany around us huh? so I'm gonna use this one you choose the other one same applies here is gonna check all the arch Linux servers so there are two servers we're getting our packages from from Antarcos some specifics uh, programs are coming from there and others the bulk native maybe 90 maybe 95 percent is just coming from arch servers all right, so arrow up, we were at 20, 0, 3, xorg, xorg is our video, or our, our server that's going to supply the images, that's going to supply the desktop, the wallpapers, everything. So what we're gonna see, and then 0, 4, Packer is the program I use to get the AUR packages and so the packages that are coming from the Arch user repository, that's the name. And then 05. This is the thing we need. So this is i3. Google it. They have an, uh, a home page. Don't really know again what it is. I think it ends in .org. i3wm.org. My guess. Nothing available here to really check it quickly. But um, that's it. And well, we're gonna save us some time since it's gonna load everything. In the meantime, I had some time to check. It's indeed i3wm.org where you can find every information on i3. 
you see maybe that I have here i3 dash gaps dash next so I'm not going to install the a real of well, the, 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 the original i3 but the one with possibility to have gaps which I like a bit more so I can see the wallpaper and stuff behind it okay 0 05 now we're gonna install software this is the core software meaning it's just coming from pacman with commands sudo pacman minus s and then from the standard repositories from arch the next one is coming from the AUR the arch user repository so this is the normal stuff like GIMP, Inkscape, uh, let's see, Conkey is installing, Darktable is installing, what else, Evolution, Mozilla Firefox is installed, and maybe we can save some time again. Okay, so this one finished, 100, let's go to 200 like I said it's the program scrumming from AUR I want Dropbox and InSync and stuff like that to be installed Spotify as well Sublime Text is in there and something to yeah my Canon printer as well doesn't doesn't matter if you install it and you don't have the Canon print it's not that big it's just a few files to speak to the printer so that's not uh, an issue InSync is in a sort of Google Drive synchronizer. Uh, you can use it for free for 14 days. And afterwards I thought, mm, well, since well, I saw the benefit in it, so I bought it. Peak, Spotify. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to say something about this line. Spotify has been installed. That really means that it has been installed. It's not text, it is a check in the database from Pacman. Is it installed, yes or no? So when it says it has been installed, it's just uh, okay. Let's spare some time. All right. Let's go to 300. 300 is the beautify script, meaning there's no fun in looking at a uh, boring desktop. So uh, nice icons, nice themes, nice cursors. Maybe plank and all that. Are we already full out of space? It's probably that's possible. Gave 30 gigabytes, maybe it's not enough. That worked. Nope, unable to write. I do believe we're out of space. Almost. Okay. So that was uh, 400, 500, was it? No, since we're out of space, we're not gonna run that one. We did 300. And 400 was, uh, yeah, we're gonna need to do that, the 400. So this row specific stuff for i3. This, well, what is this again? Ah, SMB. So sharing across network. And this one is an issue so the past history is is okay is great but he has two versions inside of it so it clashes so what you do you run it again and like you see everything is skipped so the scripts check if it's already installed and if it is already installed it doesn't do anything and like you see the player ctl is now running just great and it's compiling so the 400 has to be run twice. And let's spare some time again. Yeah, not finished. Yep. <laughs> Almost finished. 
but not really. So this is the passive tray there. That's the sound icon we have on the right and bottom of our screen, which I really like because it's quite complex, it's quite geeky. You see this default server, the sync, default source. And why do I have that? Well, I do also have a uh, Bluetooth uh, Boost uh, headphone, and that's the reason. All right, so that's done. So 400, and then we go to 500. We're gonna skip 500, and we're gonna use 600. We ne really need to install the 600, because that's the one that's going to install all the elements. Before I press enter, if you really want to do this and, and, and have this system, it says you have to change something. You have to follow the tutorial on heritage.pe and you have to change an element. So let's go to, let's do it, show you, not do it, but show you. You have to do CD, CD settings, change directory. And then in this thing, there is, yeah, there it is. You do nano, auto, and so on. So, of course, my name is Eric, but I suppose that there are chances that you're not named Eric. So, here you see my name. Why am I telling you this? I have set up my system that way that you log in automatically. So, when I wake up I wake up the computer I get the desktop I'm logged in as Eric directly so you have to delete these lines and type your own name and then control X save it as yes run it and then go back up LS we're back up and then you're gonna run the 600 and then everything is okay okay sudo reboot And we'll see, oh, I hope, a beautiful i3wm with all the settings, my settings. And you can change the settings afterwards. Another icon, another theme, another font. And there you go. The icons did not install properly, that's why we're looking at ugly icons. So I'll have to check why that is. And that's variety that's popping up. Let's close it. We want to close this as well. Which program is this? References. That's Firefox. Okay. Close tab. Close tab. Well, so one, two, eight. Windows Shift Q. Deleting this as well. Spotify is installed. Everything is launching. So that's normal. What I wanted to do is see if we can bet, get a better machine. So the question is, can we change it? So we have a better uh, size. I guess we cannot not in this mesh in this matter that we can change anything here what we have to do and we can change it here we can could try that so we're gonna try this first and then go inside the system um we're gonna log off power off again so power of guest or we can do it inside here windows pause break shift uh, s is going to shut down our i3 WM and then we're gonna look to our VMware player which we do not have anymore nope so let's go to here why is it not showing my keys anymore it stopped showing my keys I think Windows D VM player and let's see if we can change anything so virtual machine settings display specify I have one monitor and I hope to be able to run this one save and see if 
we can get i3wm at a convenient resolution we're happy with you know to make tutorials one ring no so it's not doing what I expected him to do it's still a very low resolution so we can't do anything with this here let's get rid of all that okay how to fix it so we are on VMware player and it's I think 800 on 600 well let's have a look so Windows 4 Windows enter X render we are on X or 600 that's why the asterisk is there one moment okay so we know what the name of our screen is um, it was a VGA-1 called in VirtualBox it's called virtual one here and we know it's X render as program and we want our output to come output to come on virtual one and now the resolution the resolution is defined with modes and we look up and we decide what can go on our screen and I think this was the best match so 1440 times 900 enter there you go this is okay for me to make a movie about so that's how we make uh, adjustments and we could make could check in L experience we have our arc theme available and icon themes were installed it seems but not the Sardi extra themes that's it and I selected the Sardi extra theme let's take Sardi flat why not anything is good Windows shift executes E not execute but exit <laughs> and we're back in and this is a normal view yeah Dropbox is uh, starting of course every time uh, until you put in your name so Firefox is starting on one you can see that a resolution is gone again so you have to set it uh, somewhere and so he reminds it so this one that's what we need to put in at uh, a different place somewhere else where in order for him to keep it well you could put it for instance in the config file so this is i3 i3 is based on config files uh, so you go to i3 your config file is here it's now opened in here we open it by scrolling a bit make it a bit bigger somewhere down the road uh, control find exec something like that and let's do a few finds and best way is to put it here somewhere user applications like so get this control copy and then we say exec execute this one please save now we exit and we see if it will execute it or not so solved in the config file everything of course going to be re rebooted again so not this one I don't want that one and now everything is as it should be and we have our Antergos i3 system available the country temp not gonna invest time in it we are on a vir virtual machine so I suppose he can't read to the CPU all right this is VMware player on the latest kernel we patched it in order for it to work there were some issues with the network card in, in, in this in startup so we had to uh, do the pseudo system control DHCPD service we enabled it and started and then we have now a system on our system have fun